Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you the real cost of running a Tesla Model 3 long range in 2021. So I'll be taking you through all the numbers for what it costs to charge your car on a three pin plug at home without a wall charger because we don't have one at the moment. And also I'll show you what the cost of supercharging is and also I'll show you what app I use to monitor energy usage and the cost of running the car. So stick around, let's get straight into the numbers. Sheet indicates the cost of charging the car on a three pin plug and we have the start state of charge from the car, the range that 63% will give you in a long range Model 3 Tesla. End state of charge is always 80% for me because that's best to maintain the longevity of the battery. Range, uh, according to the car, 80% is 267 miles. Kilowatt hours used was 12 kilowatt hours. The rate I'm on is Octopus. Uh, it's a flat rate tariff uh, throughout the day and night. Um, so I'm not on a, a cheaper rate, unfortunately, because we're moving house. So it's 16 pounds throughout the day. Total is £1.92, it's for 12 kilowatt hours times 16 pence per kilowatt hour. I just did a calculation of how long it took, nine and a half hours. Uh, range per hour is about six, miles added 58. Cost per mile is 3p. That will go down hopefully with a seven kilowatt charger, which is a wall charger, because um, the, the overnight rate I believe is about five and a half pence from half 12 to half four, if you're on Octopus Go tariff so uh, it's a lot less than what I'm paying now um, and that'll be about two people mile. You need to remember that one kilowatt is about four miles. Uh, I should put that in there maybe just to remind myself one kilowatt hour is equivalent to four miles approximately it depends on how you how you drive the car, weather conditions, how cold the batteries etc. Based on a fossil car I had a Ford Focus titanium which in fact has a lot of the, apart from not being electric, it did have uh, auto park, heated front windscreen, electric seats, and a few other bits and pieces. Uh, that cost me 12p per mile. So it's about a quarter of the price of a fossil car and electric car that's based on diesel at the current price. I use ev.energy app for monitoring uh, energy costs. I'll put a link in the description and you also get uh, as an invite code so you get 25 free reward points and for each 20 points uh, there's a five pound Amazon voucher which they'll send to you. Uh, it's based off your first, for your first charge. You can download this data from the ev.energy app. I started using it from the beginning of December so I had to estimate the usage from the time I got the car 8th of November to the beginning of December and I've estimated that about £1.70 a day but this gives a session ID, car ID, description, start time and finish time. Some of it was overnight so 10 o'clock at night to 7.30 the following morning. Some is daytime so 8.41 to 8 o'clock. Uh, it tells you the energy delivered in kilowatt hours again on 16p uh, which is what I'm paying now and the cost per charge at location, not sure what session type is. So for EV energy data, the total is £24.84. Home charging estimate is £18.70. Total home charging £43.54. Supercharge costs are shown in a moment, £43.92. Total eighty seven forty six. This was done when the odometer was at 2478. I need to buy one by the to get four people mile, which is pretty good. Uh, so one kilowatt hour will give you about four miles of range approximately. And this is the, uh, so Podpoint Tesco's, you can get 11 kilowatts a charge, which give you 44 miles per hour you're charging. A seven kilowatt typical wall charger will give you 28 miles per hour range. And a three pin plug, which is what I'm on, roughly about two kilowatts, about eight miles per hour range. Supercharging miles, I'm not on referral points, so I'm having to pay for uh, supercharger miles or supercharger charging. Uh, the referral point ended in, I think it was September. This is downloaded from the app, so you can export the file uh, to email and download it. Again, gives the start time, name, VIN, model, country, where I, where I was been, where I have been supercharging. 
the charge quantity base so what how much uh, you know energy it was put into the car tier one and tier two is the speed of charge so tier one is a faster charge tier two is a slower charging when you when you start to charge it's always the first uh, part is much quicker than the latter part of the charge and you should really only be arriving at a supercharger sort of 20 percent or below tesla recommends the first bit the lower the charge the quicker the first uh, part of the charge will be when you're recharging uh, superchargers have a different price as well so you can see 31p per kilowatt hour up to 34p per kilowatt hour um, <clears throat> VAT total without VAT and then total with VAT so uh, total there and I've paid £43.92 this was charging probably for about 25% up to about 75 to 80% for each of these charges um, so the car will tell you how much charge you need to get home so that's it. I hope that was useful. Uh, when I was buying the car, in the process of researching it, really couldn't find much detail on the charging costs. Everyone seemed to have referral miles. Um, I had no idea, you know, what what it costs. So the approximate cost of a supercharger is in the 30s, 35, 36 peak. Some will also be um, have peak charging, so between nine in the morning and nine at night. I think there's about three or four that have this, um, <clears throat> and there I think a couple in London. Uh, otherwise, it's a standard standard rate uh, throughout the day. So I hope you found that useful. Thank you for watching the video, and I'll see you in the next one.